So I was on my way to presumably Prim. I was uh, trying to remember the exact reason I was coming here, and I don't, I don't quite remember. Is it that I I thought someone said the checkered man would have gone? So I think what it was is he would have gone out to the highway, which is where I am now, and gone south rather than going around because this road is presumably dangerous or something. I'm assuming. Uh, I th It almost sounded like they said you need to go south and follow this highway around and come back up and around. Uh, I don't know why. I'm, I'm tempted to go over there, which might be a complete waste of time. Uh, but I think... I think I'm going to go over there and scope it out. Let's see what this is. I've been getting some weird stuttering, too, and I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed about it. I hope it doesn't come through on the video. Because it, it's, it's very... Uh, there we go. It's very annoying, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Average. I can't lockpick that. That requires level 50. There's no key anywhere, so... I'm not sure what this is. Oh, there's a plane! Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't even know those guys were there. Um, Stimpak. These are powder gangers, I think. Is this their plane? Kind of a weird place for a plane, isn't it? Kind of want to avoid looting everything for the most part. Also, I think we got a pretty awesome shotgun. We did. Let's try this shotgun out. Only got a few shots on it, but... Heck yeah, look at this thing. So yeah, I'm going to... Over oh, there, guarding this thing. Explosives crate. I'm going to go up the road here. I think that's a powder ganger up there. But I want to see... I'm assuming it's going to be like, don't go this way because there's something dangerous. Da 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 da, like some scorpions and stuff. But let's scope it out. Let's see what's up here. So we are on Interstate 15. Uh, now, <laughs> you're going to laugh at me, but uh, what I. There's something over there. What I ended up doing was. Oh, State Prison, next exit. Maybe that's what that is. What I ended up doing uh, is I almost made notes for myself because. Uh, Oh jeez. Okay. Yeah, I made I made notes for myself because when I loaded into the game, there were so many they dumped so much lore on me. So much lore. We learned about the powder gangers, the great cons. Actually, I learned nothing about the great cons, but uh powder gangers, great cons, uh, Caesar and the Legion. Uh what else did we learn? Man, we learned about so much stuff, which is just insane to try and keep track of all that stuff got here physicians ammunition box Ooh, energy cells i'll take that empty whoa 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 these guys are obsessed with me huh holy crap this shotgun is so good i just gotta get over here how far can i shoot The shotgun's so good. <laughs> this is from... This shotgun was a reward from the uh, Crimson Caravan guy. He was the one who gave us this shotgun. And this is his people right here. Uh, these, these are Crimson Caravan guards. So I found the area where uh, they were attacked. Presumably. So I'm going to go up the road a little bit more here. Right up there. Let me check the map. Before I... Yeah. 
The cemetery is up that hill, but if you remember right, oh look, there's a big cross. If you recall correctly, there were uh, rad scorpions, big ones. Like real big ones uh, hanging out over there. That almost feels like cheating. I can use the uh, VAT system to see these guys, huh? There's another one. Fresh potato. Beauty pup. Doctor's bag, sunset. Oh, look at all this stuff. Is this from, is this the Crimson Caravan, I wonder? This might be the Crimson Caravan. They said they were attacked. I want to go up to that cross. But I see some guys here. Powder gangers. One thing Fallout 76 has that I haven't quite figured out in this game. Uh is can I use stuff without having to... Oh, Jesus. They're throwing dynamite at me? I'm hit. I'm hit. It looked like they were throwing dynamite, but I don't think they actually did. So that might be the state prison up there, because it said state prison next exit. Let's scope out this. We don't want to go too far because there's guys there. But at some point, they said that this road in particular is dangerous because there are uh, creatures here that are powerful or something. Is this a nothing? I can't get inside of it. Dead guy down here. Right follower. Bright Brotherhood robe. What are what are the Bright Brotherhood? Is that another faction? I saw guys up here. There they are. I can see them. I can't tell what they are. I feel like I'm getting off track. Or <laughs> off track. I've been distracted. I wanted to go up to the cross, but now we're way over here. Let's save. Oh, these guys are... these guys are safe guys. What is that? Snuffles? Hey, fella. Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. Where'd the Death Claws come from? They moved into the quarry after the Powder Gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the Death Claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show, and my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Tell me about the Powder Gangers. They're a bunch of escaped cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up, but the powder gangers are loose. It was one group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. Have you had problems with death claws before? Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. I could take care of your Deathclaw problem. Have you ever seen a Deathclaw? They're taller than a man and far, far stronger and faster. And there's a whole pack of them out there. You'd have to be the meanest, toughest, roughest bastard in the wasteland to have any chance against them, and I don't think that's you. 
You'd need to take out the pack leaders, a mother death claw and the death claw alpha male. Kill them and the pack will scatter. Pretty tough job. Perhaps we should uh, talk about okay. something else. Uh, do you have any information about New Vegas? I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I've seen a lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. If you insist on going north, don't be expecting a rescue when you get into trouble. Okay, so that is the third or fourth warning we've had about going north. I hope they don't close the quarry. I need the money. It's too damn hot. Let's poke our head down here. Warning, death claws ahead. So the thing that has me curious is what is stopping a player from simply walking forward? This could be a scripted event in such that as soon as I go up there, the death claws go like target you. But like what is stopping a player from simply, you know, crouching and stealthing over there? Is there anything stopping them from doing that? I could do it, but I feel like it would be a waste of time. Sloan. Your leg appears to be injured. Okay, actually, I think I can do this. Uh, let's check this out. I picked up a today's physician, so here we go. Let's talk to Snuffles again. Your leg appears to be injured. There we go. Medicine 30. Clean the wound with antibiotics and expertly bind Snuffle's injured leg. Bye. All right, we fixed Snuffle's. I don't really know what we got out of that, but we did it. The name Sloan sounds very familiar. And I'm not entirely sure why. So this is stealing. Hey, uh... Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Pizza. Anything that wasn't made 200 years ago. Uh, yeah, can you believe some people still eat that stuff? Anyway... I've got this recipe for a Deathclaw omelet oh that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a Deathclaw egg. Kind of obvious, I suppose. <laughs> Where did you come up with this recipe? My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female Deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At least, she did until some stranger came along and killed the Deathclaw. Shot it right in the eye. What are you offering in exchange? I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. Where can I find one? The quarry just north of here is full of Deathclaws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. Of course, a Deathclaw egg from anywhere will do. According to my Aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. All right. Do you need a... Uh, let's... Let's, uh... Sure. Let's sell some stuff to her. Goodbye. Door to machine shop. That is... I guess that's that. We probably don't want to go north just because they've been warning us so much about the death claws. Uh, and from where we are, this would be east or west where I'm facing. That's where those uh, red scorpions were. But I think I'm going that way anyways because I want to go to that, that cross. That has piqued my interest, and I want to see what's up there. And I'm up here. Not seeing anything. 
just more signs saying not to go here. There's the quarry. You know, I didn't know the quarry. We walked right by the quarry. Hmm. So here's the uh, big old cross thing. The Youngst Memorial. Youngst? Not seeing anything. I thought there'd be something here. Hollowed out rock. Ooh, energy cells. I'll take it. Don't have a shovel, so I can't investigate. That there is... Good Springs, okay. So I am not where I thought I was. The rad scorpions are that way. I wonder if I can investigate this thing before. Yeah, there they are. I see one right there. And there. They're right... Oh, I think they know I'm here. Why'd we run in here if they know we're here? Dirty water. What is this place? Scrap electronics. First aid box. I don't really understand what this place is. Reloading bench. Break down 22 LLR. That will give us lead and powder pistol. Um, crafty 2020. Well, that was like an achievement. Well, I'm not using this stuff, so let's find out what happens if I do this, right? Oh, here. So to make something like 308 rounds, it requires... Oh, God. It requires the... So we have to break down ammo. Uh, and there's powder... Right, yeah, powder for pistol and powder for rifle. This requires a uh, 12 gauge buckshot primer shot shell. I, don't, I guess I don't really understand the point of it, but there you go. Do you get a, uh, whoops. You get an XP bonus if you sleep in bed. Used to, in other games. Status uh, effects. Nope, I don't have one. All right. Okay, we gotta get the, we gotta get the F out of here. A little close to those rad scorpions. They see me, apparently. Oh my gosh, here he comes. Hopefully these aren't the type that dig, dig down into the ground, you know? I think we lost him. There's a bag right there. Do I risk it? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was so dumb. We're going to die to Rad Scorpion. All because I just had to go look. Okay, so we are at a uh, junction here. Do I head over to Prim, which is that way? 
Or do I instead go this way, which is to the prison, and according to the guy up the road, this is where the powder gangers are. Uh, and he was talking about the NCR. Ooh. Mm, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go to Prim. Because I think he said the NCR are over here. And maybe the NCR will talk about the powder gangers. Oh, big shot. Oh god, there's more of them. Why don't you guys come a little closer? <laughs> the shotgun is amazing. I am almost no. Oh god, what did I just step on? I stepped on a mine. What is that what that is? Jesus. I just stepped on two mines. No one saw that. Do stim packs cure uh injuries like that? No, you have to use a doctor's bag. Okay. You have to use a doctor's bag to cure that type of injury. So, I'm curious about the stealing aspect in this game. This is obviously classed as stealing. So do I get a bad reputation slash bad karma for stealing, even though I'm technically stealing from, you know, the powder gangers? Does that affect my reputation, you know, per se, air quotes, reputation with other factions something up there i was just taking a look through my keybinds and i did not see a way to uh i did not see a way to like favorite weapons so i think what i have to do this uses 20 gauge this uses well this one says i have 10 Two of nine, one of ten. So you use a different gun. Ammo? Sort of seems... What's that? It sounded like a plane. Anyhow, as I was saying... Uh, actually, I don't remember what I was saying. These guys kind of remind me of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Hopefully there's a vendor up here. I'm getting fat. Welcome to Prim, I believe. See this flag here? This is uh, New California Repub Republic. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Uh, what's going on, Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Shouldn't you be protecting the town? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okay. What side would be this side? So, we picked the right thing to do. I was questioning whether we should go to the prison or we should come here, and we came here, and there is, in fact, something to do with the prison, because he said, uh, that guy said that this place is taken over by powder gangers. Let's 
So let's head over here and we'll scope her out. You Lieutenant Hayes? Hello. I'm Sergeant McGee nope. of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Sir. This guy sounds like the, uh... That one voice actor from Critical Role. Oh, here we go, Lieutenant Hayes. Morning. Nope, Lieutenant Hayes. I'm here Lieutenant we go. Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, Fifth Battalion, First Company. What's your business? Oh, what are you doing out here? We were sending out here to, to pull back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. There's like three of you. What are you expected to do? I know what's the problem with your mission. I know what the problem is. I've only seen like three people. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. Do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. That's good. I have some other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. Bye. Sir. Okay, I was... It's been a long tour. Huh. All I can think about now is... You know, I was expecting a quest from him. If I'm being perfectly honest, I was expecting a quest. Um, let's head over there, maybe? You can count on that. Are you sick, sir? You're orange. Oh, the Mojave Express. Is that... That's where I work, is it not? The Mojave Express? Am I making that up? Am I making that up? This is boarded up. No way in here. Okay, wait. No, okay. Let's scope out this little building here. There's a couple little buildings here. Door to Deputy Beagle's residence, okay. Which is trespassing. Door to Prim Sheriff's Office? What's that? Escape convict. Okay, so there's an enemy right there. Let's go in here. Whoa, what was that noise? Uh oh. Sheriff McBain and Mrs. McBain are dead. They butchered them. Sheriff's Duster. Desperado. Oh, I meant to wear this. Desperado cowboy hat. Sheriff's Duster has a plus five to guns, plus one to charisma, but has no damage reduction of any kind. I feel like the thing we have is pretty good. Ammunition. We could do with some shotgun shells, especially if I'm... Especially, rather, if I'm going to be fighting... Um... Uh, these powder gangers, which presumably I am, and there's presumably a lot of them. It's two pounds. We're f we're very full. 
Here's another reloading bench. I am very, very full. I'm a little bit hesitant on uh, doing anything because I don't have... I was expecting a vendor or something. And there's not. Okay, let's... What's that? This dead guy there. This is listed as a enemy? Yeah. Okay. I think he sees us. Do I have any reason to be in here? Not particularly. Goggle helmet. Stim pack, storm chaser helmet. Okay. Uh, let's go in here. Daniel. Mojave Express Delivery Order 4 of 6. Note added. What is this? What would that be under? Data? Miscellaneous? Here. Uh, oh, these are side quests. I see, I see. Okay, okay. I didn't realize there, there are little side quest thingies over here. There's a lot to read here. Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas... Okay, we're not doing that. Wait. Oh, they're both. And pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson... North entrance of the Vegas Strip. Okay. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. Manifest. This package contains two oversized di dice composed of fuzzy material. <laughs> Funny. Let's go inside. Zammy damage robot. Try to fix it. Some serious servos and gyro 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 scopes are needed to recalibrate and replace, but it looks as though 65 or higher. 55. Okay, so I lack the skill level to do that. That is very high level. Anyone in here? No? This is where I worked? This place sucks. I kinda wanna fix this robot. I wish I had... I wish I had the skill for it. Science, we need 65. Science or repair, we're nowhere near. We're like four levels away from doing that. There's a way in here. Door to the Vicky and Vance Casino. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Oh, outpost, okay. I am a courier. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package. I'll tell you whatever I can. Do you have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, here. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. I'm sorry. He's carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. 
His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. What the hell? Do you know who he was? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history him. for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not enough for me to say. The cowboy robot. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like... Yeah, I know me. the one you're talking about. Some men stole my package. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. That's the guy. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know where they are. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I'd like to ask about something I guess else. I don't have anywhere better to be. Ask him what the delivery I'm supposed to make. Uh, what can I do to, uh, what can I do to help you? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. I don't know what that First is. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. What is Bison Steve? That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? What's wrong with it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious. But my tinkering days are long gone. Where did it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. Do you mind if I try? Are you welcome to try? If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrap. I hope he's not talking oh. about the robot I already tried. Because I, I tried the robot and it didn't, it yeah. didn't work. What does he mean, this guy? Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Happy trip. I don't want to listen to him. His voice is obnoxious. <laughs> I don't think it's that robot. He might actually be talking about that other robot. Howdy. Uh, that I can't fix. That's Ruby Nash. That's the other guy's uh, wife. Vending machine. That's stealing. In here, nothing. Behind the bar. Again, stealing. There's nothing back here. Prime resident. There's a safe that is stealing. Howdy. Personalize, keep out, door. Uh, lot of safes. Stim packs and guns. Howdy. Howdy. And I believe that is everything in here. Yeah, so in that case. We need to find Deputy Beagle. Wait. Oh, no. That's the guy I, I talked to. Deputy Beagle is in the bison, which I believe the only thing left is that big building across the road. So let's save. Yeah, there it is. Bison Steve. Okay. and Steve. Is 
Should I just, I wonder, I'm just gonna use my, uh, my good shotgun. I know I don't have a lot of ammo for it, but who knows what's in here, right? Okay, let me out. <laughs> let me out of that that cutscene thing you made me force me into there. Nevada agave fruit varmint rifle vodka. You know what? I am over encumbered, but I've got a bunch of these weapons, and I can use the other weapons to repair them. So, uh, how do I drop that? There we go. Okay, 9 mil. Let's use one of these. So we've got a fully repaired 9 mil. Dynamite. I've got a lot of dynamite. Uh, single shotgun. Varmint rifle. Let's repair this with the other rifles. That should have freed up... A, yeah, that freed up a decent amount of space. Okay. Ah, ah, crap. Uh, I'm just not not getting shotgun ammo, huh? This is locked. Easy. There we go. Get in here, we got ourselves a key. Maintenance key. Lunchbox. Bubble gum. Care about any of that? There's a <laughs> safe that I cannot pick because I don't have high enough skill level to do so. Actually, what does it require? Fifty, and I am lock pick twenty. S no, because I have a magazine, but it only it's only plus ten, so I can't do that. Hard. A lot of high level safes through here. Repair elevator. Elevator up, huh? Interesting. Do I want to use that? It's upstairs. This place is like a maze. Goodness. We get swap guns. And then uh let's go over here. Yes, there we go. dead. And we leveled up! Hooray! Uh, I want more points. Guns determine your effectiveness, uh, it says etc. Is there heavy guns? No. Let's put some points in guns. You gain twice or more skill points every time you advance and level. This perk is best taken early on. You gain double the bonus from reading magazines. Cannibal. Swift Learner. Done. Overweight.
I need some shotgun ammo. Any of y'all got some shotgun ammo in here, please? Thank you. Stim pack. Shotgun ammo. Nope. I'm getting everything but shotgun ammo. Is it is it a rare thing? Stim pack. What are you doing over here? Cooking a whole cow? On a tire? That's unhealthy, fellas. Deputy Beagle! I was looking for I you. I suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Uh, I'll set you free. I'm not. I want to ask about the cons, but I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you. My whoa! You don't look. Oh, why? Uh, of course, I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it, you. All right. Well, we're a jerk apparently, but we convinced this guy to help us. I have this key. Look at me. So I can go up, but I could use the elevator because I repaired it. Because we've got repair skill. What, 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 what? Don't you die on me. I need you. Holy crap. He's going to die. Oh, my God. Can I heal him? Oh, my God. I don't plan to come back. Thank you. Uh, if this guy can die, he's gonna die. Oh, I just that? picked up I picked up something I didn't mean to. No, they killed Deputy like Beagle. Ah, oh, Beagle's dead. Where'd he go? I would say I want to reload so that old boy doesn't die. But let's try to go... Let's try to go with our consequences. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was worried he wouldn't die, but I didn't send him away. I still kept him with me. Because I think I had the option to tell him to go away even after the fact. So I'm going to suffer through the... Uh, through me doing this. That seems only fair. Did I do everything here? No, I think there was another path over here. Down here, yeah. Okay, no, not another path, but this is another way around. What is that? Ransom note. <laughs> Jet. I was, uh... Watching the the Fallout show, right? And uh, they were talking about Switchblade, Medic, Psycho. Yeah. Uh, one of the uh, lore people said that if you play Fallout One or Two, you find out that I think it was Jet is the one that was made uh, after the war. So, like some of this stuff being here would imply that this this was all happened after the fact, not before, even though it seems like it was there before, right? Door to Prim was over here. Ah, we let Deputy Beagle die. That sucks. Oh well. 
I think it's just these two boys that are up here. Goodbye, sir. Now, where's your friend? We know he's up there somewhere. No one's over here. So, that boy might be running around. Let's go get him. Alright, let's go back to the Vic and Vance Casino. And deliver the bad news that we got Deputy Beagle killed. Uh, but I do have his journal. In fact, I can do that right now. Thought I heard gunshots. Uh, ransom note. Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash in small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. This is most unusual. The Powder Gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now those tough looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton, then west to Novak where they'll meet up with someone. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. <laughs> oh my, I think I've been spotted. <laughs> oh, let's go deliver the bad news. Hey, uh, yeah, listen. Where's Nash, John? Listen, friend. Uh, move along, please. Listen. About Deputy Beagle. Hey, youngster. St Your deputy died in Bison Steve. Well, I guess you're gonna have to find us a new lawman. I suggest talking to those NCR troopers across the bridge. I also overheard the Potter gangsters talking about some ex-sheriff on lockdown there. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess I never thought of that. I guess... Gangers, gangsters, all sounds... Okay. Okay. Bye. So, uh, we've come to a pass here. Apparently I can reprogram this Howdy, guy. I can. Science. Route to serve uh, using three fission batteries and four conductors. Yada, yada, yada. So. Here's what we could do. I can reprogram the robot to be the town sheriff, whether that be weird or not. Or we can go over to the uh, prison and they have a sheriff locked up. So we know nothing about this guy. Or we can go to the NCR and tell them that they need a new uh, lawman here. The problem is, is that a lot of people are a little wary of the NCR because they will, they're kind of bullies, I think. So the question is, is do we want to put these guys under the control, under the finger of the NCR? Or do we want them to try and... Do we want them to try and be on their own? I'm a little weary of robots, so... Move along, please. Let me get my thoughts in order here. I don't trust the robot in Goodspring because he... I think is being controlled by someone else. Because he is the one who did all the weird orders and he is the one who dug me out of my grave and I'm apparently something special, yada yada yada. Don't trust him. Question is, is this robot tied to that robot. They are different models. So if I make this guy sheriff, he's got little boots on. I didn't even notice that. Oh, that might change my question. That might change everything. He's got little booties. Look at him. Hey there. Oh. You know what? I'm going to make this guy. Howdy, partner. Welcome he's going to be the sheriff. I've decided. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. 
Authorization found. Yeah! Happy trails, part. Okay. We leveled up again, so I can put some more points in guns if I want. Science. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, and it's primarily used to hack. It can also be used to recycle energy weapons at benches. We haven't been using energy weapons at all. At all. I want to put some points into speech. I want to go up to 50. And let's put the other six into guns. Howdy, partner. Okay. Prim is a thriving resort community. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to the towns. Okay. Let's find Johnson Nash. Is that you? Hey there. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Okay. Okay. All right. So that worked out all right, I think. Until we find out what the consequences are of our actions. Um, I want to sell that incinerator. It's heavy. Where did that... Here it is. 469. So that's, that's about it. Does he sell 20 gauge round? 16. He does. That's only 16 caps? Wow, we should have been doing this. Okay. All right. Give me a shot if you need anything else. I think we need to go back to that other town and buy... Hey there. Buy a 20 gauge. Because that shotgun's our best gun at the moment. We are better with laser pistols, but this shotgun is super good. Uh, I'm going to head across the road real quick. I want to talk to the ends. I want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes before we leave. Nothing. Sir. There's nothing there. It's really strange that I don't have any sort of quest or interaction with these NCR here. Um, I would have assumed one of them would have sent, in typical Fallout fashion, one of them would have sent me to somewhere to join the NCR. Or maybe I went about it the wrong way. You know what? That's probably it. I bet I went around it the wrong way. Had I come back here to tell him that they need uh, protection, I probably would have gone up in reputation with them, but I instead chose to let Prim be uh, with themselves. So I think I'm going to I'm going back to uh, Good Springs and I'm going to get some ammo.